Good afternoon. Dribblers, what's going on? Y'all come in here, man. I need to share. Y'all know I come through when I share every now and then. Respect for East Flatbush. What up? Lord V. Good afternoon. Y'all share this live stream. Let me let me come in here and share. I have to share, man. This is um if it's on my mind, I'ma share it. I'ma share. He said, boy got them L's been in cars ever since. <laughs> What's going on? Um, I'm gonna just go ahead. Hold on. Y'all like this video. Let's put some emphasis on the likes. He says Steven Jackson is outside. Yeah, he's clearly outside, but I'm gonna explain it. I'm gonna explain it. Um Y'all like the video. Could we get like double figure, triple figure likes, three figure likes? Let's put some emphasis on the likes right now. He said, Gully, are you rocking those green and white spot bills today? Nah, man, I don't wear them shits. My sneaks look like this. Gym shit. I be in gym shit, man. Good afternoon. Stax don't know if he want to be an activist or gangster. Listen. Um, check this out, right? Steven, Steven Jackson is the first NBA, NBA player, I believe, that vocally, because Carmelo Anthony got mixed up in a stop snitching situation. Like, he had on a t-shirt, I think. No, he was on a Stop Snitching DVD or something like that. But anyway, right? Steven Jackson, is, I believe, is the first NBA player or probably pro athlete that has chose to take this stance publicly. Instead of being a leader and um, representing all of the traits they come with being an athlete, a leader, a star, um, healthy, healthy mind, body, um, in great shape. Just everything, 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 everything that would go with being an athlete. He misrepresenting it. Um, he's he's misrepresenting it. He's misrepresenting it. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to be abrasive and shit because I like Steven Jackson. Um, I've spoke, you know, he's an NBA player. I like Steven Jackson. Steven Jackson, every all of the teams that he was on, he was a contributor and shit. He, he was a ball player and shit. But Steven Jackson um, is fucking up bad. He's tripping. And this is what it is, right? He made this video talking about snitching and everything. And I believe... He obviously, I believe, is talking to Charleston White. Possibly DJ Academics, but definitely Charleston White, right? Boom. He's talking about people who be online saying that they'll snitch or they'll tell the police and shit like that. Um, I don't believe Charleston White is the first person that said that. One of them Hot 97 DJs said it before, too, like they would call the police or somebody did this and this and that. I believe that. But um, Charleston White has has spoke about um, calling the police, cooperating with the police. Now listen, Charleston White, when he's speaking like this, he's speaking from the point and the perspective of, of a civilian, a taxpayer, a regular nine to fiver, someone like your your your, your aunts, uncles who who go to the fucking Kingdom Hall, or go to church and pay tithes and work and these are regular people this is what charleston white is he's speaking from this perspective charleston white is saying these people if you see crimes being committed in your community you can call the police 
You don't have to be threatened and shit. You don't have to um, get your house firebombed like Arjun, like the Supreme Team through the firebomb, through the boy window and shit like that. You don't have to go through that shit. You can go ahead and you can call the fucking police. You don't have to be um, a prisoner in your own fucking community and shit. This is what Charleston White is saying. When he's speaking like this, he's talking about our grandparents, our aunts, uncles and shit like that. Um... I believe a criminal broke into the black godfather. I can't remember his name and killed his wife. Correct? Correct? Some criminals broke into a, a, one of the only black mil millionaires or wealthy people in Beverly Hills and killed his wife or some shit like that, right? Right? Someone has to fucking tell on these niggas. Somebody has to fucking tell on these predator motherfuckers. Them people was in their 70s or 80s or some shit like that. They not protected. Motherfuckers have to tell on these predator sick motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? And it's more. I got more. Jam Master J. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. The niggas who killed him need to fucking be told on. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say about Gully TV. I don't choose to be at your motherfucking table. I made my own. You dig what I'm saying? A motherfucker slid up in Jam Master J's studio and blew his motherfucking head off and this was just going to be done and over with. That This was just going to be done and over with. The street code says don't tell on nobody. Lydia, the chick in the fucking studio. Lydia, Lydia. Randy Allen, these motherfuckers in this fucking studio that watch Jam Master J get his fucking head. One of them opened the fucking door and let these niggas in. Somebody got to fucking tell on these niggas. You dig what I'm saying? This nigga, this, this nigga, Stack 5, Steven Jackson is a fucking NBA player. Andre Emmett was killed in front of his house. He, somebody got to fucking tell on that. Somebody got to tell on that. Lorenzen White, Lorenzen Wright, Lorenzen Wright was an NBA player. He got killed by his fucking wife and another nigga, double-crossed and murdered. A nigga in that case told on that shit. Now, you mean to tell me this dirty bitch who double-crossed her husband, her wealthy NBA husband, double-crossed him with another nigga, killed his ass, threw him in the fucking woods. You, you mean to tell me she deserves decency and ethics and morals right and while Lorenzen White mama cry why he got bullets all in his ass for no fucking reason nobody's supposed to tell on this dastardly this dastardly ass bitch right you're not making no fucking sense my nigga you're a fucking NBA player if a motherfucker kick your door in right motherfucking now you calling the police you calling the fucking police you calling the motherfucking police. Wasn't Vernon Forrest killed? He was a pro athlete. Wasn't he fucking killed? Wasn't he fucking killed? They need some fucking decency out here in society. It's gotten out of hand. They kill motherfuckers in public. They kill babies. Babies get killed. Women get killed. This ain't no, this ain't the old gangsters take care of the neighborhood shit this ain't like that these niggas take care of themselves and kill everybody else if a motherfucker who a civilian choose to tell on them more power to him more power to him it's it's gotten out of hand the killing and shit has gotten out of hand and you got this nigga a millionaire who probably live in a gated community or some shit like that if a motherfucker break in your motherfucking house your ADT gonna go off and the police gonna come. At which point you gonna start fucking telling, my nigga. At which point you gonna start fucking telling. But you speaking on affairs that don't even fucking apply to you. These affairs don't even fucking apply to you. You you got your ass on the motherfucking online talking about some. That's why we don't get these niggas access to the real platforms. You ain't got no platform, monkey. You only been online for a year, nigga. You ain't got no fucking platform. You ain't fucking, you ain't fucking, uh, Shay Shay and motherfucking, uh, what's the boy name? Skip Bayless and Shay Shay. You with fucking Matt Barnes. He's a bird. His girl was fucking on him and he went and jumped on him. He went and jumped on him. And that's who the fuck you hanging out with. You think somebody's in a hurry to come sit down with you niggas? Everybody got jewelry, fam. And you want to know what? 
We had jewelry before you, bozo. We had jewelry before you. We was flossing before you. The cool table was established way before your big fitted hat wearing ass came on the scene, my nigga. You need to know this. You talking about some. That's why black people don't own no goddamn platforms. That's why we don't, they don't get on the real platforms. Niggas don't own no fucking platforms, monkey. Only, only nigga to own a platform is Byron Allen. Nigga, you got money, right? Establish a motherfucking platform. St carry that shit. It's coming out your mouth. Carry that shit. Don't nobody need you, niggas. You talking about in a Gilly the Kid voice. My nigga, I respect Gilly. He been on my platform before. He's from the East Coast. Gilly ain't respected, my nigga, from Philly. That's not a real Philly nigga, my nigga. That's no disrespect to him, but the way he carried, that's not Philadelphia. So, you in the dark, my nigga. You in the dark, my nigga. You talking about some, the real platforms. You niggas don't own that shit. Everybody on YouTube trying to get their dribble right, my nigga. You on here trying to speak out against righteousness. We need a motherfucker like Charleston White, who's not a part of the noise, not a part of the mix, telling motherfuckers. If, the, if, if this shit happened to you around your family, you can fucking tell on these niggas. You can call the fucking police. You can call the police. Me, I ain't gonna do it. I grew up in the fucking system. I got a distrust of the fucking police. That's me. You dig what I'm saying? But this, this nigga can't. This nigga's a fucking athlete, my nigga. You's a fucking athlete. You shouldn't even be talking about this type of shit. He shouldn't be talking about this type of shit. How the, he is cool. Gilly is cool. But like I said, man, I'm from Pennsylvania, man. I've been... Uh, I'm telling you the fucking truth. I'm telling you the truth. Now, all of that shit about the real... Charleston White done been on, pl on, on credible platforms, my nigga. People ask me about Charleston White. I said, I'm cool on him. You dig what I'm saying? I get the message and all of that. Everything ain't for everybody. Everything ain't for everybody. He don't have to be on Gully TV. I agree with a lot of the shit that he fucking saying. It makes a whole lot of fucking sense. Y'all see the interview with Tuka's mom? Y'all see the interview with Tuka's mom? Y'all seen the interviews with, her, with his mom, right? His mom is making her, making her rounds now. All these sick motherfuckers killed that boy. I think he got killed in like 2012 or 13, some shit. These sick motherfuckers been talking about this little kid for over a decade. And think this shit cool and shit like that. It's not cool to be a fucking savage. You go into the penitentiary. This is a place Stack 5 ain't never really been. You know what I'm saying? You might have spent a night there or some shit, my nigga. You're going to the fucking penitentiary with the rest of these motherfuckers. You're going to the fucking penitentiary. My nigga, when you get to the fucking penitentiary, the first thing you're going to think about is that girl that you don't spend no time with. You don't spend no time with her. You always with your niggas, my niggas, my niggas, my niggas. You dig what I'm saying? You get to jail and you want to handcuff her. It's not going to work. She's going to leave you. Your heart going to be broke before the before the preliminary hearing. You're going to be damaged. My nigga, he need to tell you this. He not telling you nothing. He not telling you all this because he don't fucking know about it. He don't fucking know about it. You go into the fucking penitentiary. They got spot shotters, technology, cameras everywhere. You do something to a motherfucker, they coming to get your black ass. Why the fuck you want to test technology? Niggas don't even read books, but you want to test technology. You go into the fucking penitentiary. Don't listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. This nigga ain't got no sense. He ain't got no sense. You talking about, yeah, basketball tournament and food drive on O-Block. You goofy ass nigga. Niggas been doing that shit. Civilians been doing that shit. Niggas been throwing basketball tournaments with money out their own pocket. Niggas been giving away food, clothes, shelter out of their own pocket. What the fuck is you talking about? You rich. What the fuck is you talking about, nigga? Shut your stupid ass up. Your five minutes is up, my nigga. You, what you doing is... You displaying your grade point average. That's something that we don't get. Basketball, you have to look into a basketball player's career to determine his aptitude. You understand what I'm saying? You got to look. A lot of them niggas is fucking retarded. A lot of them niggas was 
A lot of them niggas was fucking retarded, man. Six, seven. A lot of niggas went to the league, can't even read and shit like that. Don't listen 